You're not listening, are you? You know, there is something similar about these murders, but I can't put my finger on it. Well, in my humble opinion, I think Belmont's the fly in the ointment. <laughs> See you tonight. When will you be back? At nine. At least I hope to be, but it's Tuesday, so I might be late. Your horoscope lady said it's not my day. I would have preferred the Black Mariah. It would have made the scene more complete. What do you want this time? Another alibi? Well, I haven't got one. I know, Bill. Look, Inspector. You've had men following me for a long time. So you know damn well I didn't kill anybody. And if you lock me up now, I'll have a perfect alibi when the last finger gets cut off that glove. If you give me time to get my facts straight, I'm pretty sure I can find your murderer for you. What have you got to lose? You've got four murders on your hands, and your investigation isn't getting anywhere. Why don't you tell what you know and let us follow through? It's quicker if I work alone. I see. Does your scoop mean so much to you? Doesn't yours, Inspector. You have to build a career in the police too, I believe. Dr. Petey's wife and Isabel Lancia. We're both murdered on a Tuesday. At least I hope to be, but it's Tuesday, so I might be late. Your horoscope lady said it's not my day. Monday, January 1st. John Lubbock born March 23rd. Brutally attacked. Violence and war. It is the most favorable day for those born under the sign.